Hello, everybody. This is going to be a quick uh, demo on how to get going on the extension batch one, um, specifically the speed limit extension. So uh, if you come to the, uh, you know, the quota part, uh, there's a place where you can clone your repo um, and you can look at the different extensions you want to do and try to get your 20 or more uh, or better, your 30 points, so you can get the extra credit that you need. Um, and so if you go to, you know, sort of the speed limit fine calculator, uh, there's a bunch of things where we're going to have to create a class, figure out what type, data type we want to represent both the recorded or reported speed and the speed limit, and then figure out uh, what logic we need to do to produce, you know, this output. And if you come to the extension batch one project uh, in the source folder, you'll find a bunch of different packages for each of the extensions. And here in speed limit, uh, we have the speed limit test suite, but not the speed limit class itself. Um, that's the first instruction over here is to, uh, on the procedure part, is to create this um, thing. This speed limit test suite will uh, sort of run your code through a bunch of different tests, put it through its paces and see how it's doing. It's not going to be a complete uh, evaluation of your code. Obviously, that'll be done by your TA and check the rubric for exactly what you need to do. Uh, but this is a good start. So if we right click on this, we can run it as a JUnit test. And that will run a bunch of tests. Now, we haven't even started. So we're failing everything, including this very first uh, test, the declaration test. If I double click on this, it'll take me to the method that's going to be uh, what's run here. It's going to test for the class. And it's looking like, did you make a speed limit test uh, class, a uh, Java file with that in? So if I come here, I can right click, say new, make a new class, call it speed limit. And now when I run that test suite again, you can see I will fail everything except for that first test. So at least I'm passing this one. Uh, we now get down into this next test main method. You can see this what's called a stack trace here, um, which shows you everything and where uh, in what line everything was. Uh, usually the ones that are useful are the ones in the packages that you are writing. So speed limit tests uh, declaration. We can see that we in fact found this class, but now we can't find the main method. Um, when we come back to this class, uh, to the class that we just created, uh, you can either type main and hit control space and the top thing in what's called content assist. Uh, any of you have seen probably sys out happening here. Um, it will create a, a fully fledged main. You can hit control shift F to format all the code, which I like doing. That's command shift F on the Mac. Um, and so this was very similar to like when you see someone say sys out and it does uh, system.out.println. Uh, the same thing is happening here. I can type main, control space, and it'll fill that all in. I hit command shift F and it formats everything. Um, if you're on the Mac, this may be shadowed uh, by uh, Spotlight. Uh, if you go to your favorite search engine and just type in Eclipse Content Assist Mac, um, it'll take you to a web page that will like sort of help you navigate to uh, binding this to something else so that you can have both Content Assist in Eclipse and Spotlight uh, on the Mac. Um, if you didn't want to do the main part that way, you could, of course, always come over here to some other program where you have a main, copy and paste it in. Uh, either way, now when I run this test suite, uh, we're going to pass both of the tests in the declaration test. You can see both I have the class itself and I have the main method, so we're good to go. Uh, we are, of course, failing a bunch of tests now because uh, we haven't done anything. Um, we haven't made our OGS processor. We haven't prompted the user for uh, different pieces of information. Uh, you can see that the first one it's testing here is like, are you in compliance with the law test? It's going to test a bunch of different miles per hour and then below and exactly the speed limit. So you can see it's going to report your speed limit as, uh, you know, for this 25 miles per hour case, we're going to try it at 24 and we're going to try it in 25 and see how you do. Now we're not doing anything because we're not printing anything. Um, and so like, it's trying to say, like, I expected this line, I actually got nothing. Um, and it's trying to clean the line. So it uh, tries to get rid of like white space errors at the beginning, or if you have extra blank lines, it's trying to be a little forgiving of the text, but you are probably gonna have to, to get completely all the way through, you're gonna have to uh, write everything. Um, so let's say like, we just were like, well, okay, let's just print out, have, the nice, have a nice day. This won't uh, necessarily uh, get us, uh, we're going to have to write a lot more code than this to get this to completely work, but let's just write, have a nice day. 
Um, and we'll pretend that we are the nicest police officer ever because we never give out fines for everything. I can see I print, have a nice day. I haven't made an ARGS processor. I haven't asked for anything. But if I run this test suite again, um, you can see that, well, now I'm passing all the incompliances with the law test, right? Uh, so every, like every single one of these things, like all of this test knows is like, well, you pass all these cases. Now, when you're one mile over the speed limit for 25, it's gonna say, I expected this exact text here or like something reasonably close to it. Um, and you just print it, have a nice day. And so uh, hopefully these tests will uh, give you some, uh, help in helping you figure out exactly what's wrong. Um, I'll always say this, like these, uh, just because you pass the test suites doesn't mean that your code is working, doesn't mean that you're gonna get credit for the assignment. Uh, check the rubrics and talk to your uh, TA or instructor who's gonna be evaluating your code for how to improve it, uh, but also to make sure that you're in compliance with everything. Uh, but hopefully this will get you going on this assignment and good luck with it. And we'll be here to help.